For this part, we're asked to determine the percentage of pregnancies that last somewhere between 240 and 284 days. Remember that pregnancy length has a normal distribution with a mean of 260 and a standard deviation of 16. So the distribution of all x values, that is, lengths of pregnancies, looks like this. So now the percentage of pregnancies between 240 and 284 days is going to correspond to the area below the graph between 240 maybe about right there in 284, and roughly right there. Again, you don't have to get these things perfect, you just have to get their relative positions correct. So what we need to know is this area right here. Now the function norm dist will tell us the area below the graph to the left of any given x value. So we're going to have to use norm dist twice. A 1 to tell us the area from 284 to the left, which remember is going to give us everything not only the area we want, but all the stuff in this tail area as well, but that's okay. We'll just subtract off the area to the left of just 240. Okay, so what we're looking for is really the dif difference of two different norm dist applications. So once we've got the picture and figured out exactly what we want, then we can go ahead and go to Excel. So let's pull that up now. So let's see here. We'll go down here, and uh, we'll go to the function browser one more time here, just to quickly remind ourselves. This looks like, and you can always use this if you can't remember the syntax. So norm dist, okay, and uh, let's see, the x value, the higher one is 284, so we'll start with that. And again, we have a mean of 260, a standard deviation of 16, and or we always put down true, we always want the cumulative. So we say okay. And we want to subtract from that the value of norm dist. Remember, what we've got right now, this this big number is the area from 284 to the left. So we want to go and subtract off the area from to the left of 240, which actually we just calculated. It's right there, but just to be thorough, I'll go ahead and do it. And just a little change of pace, let's just go ahead and type it in. So norm dist, and the order of things are, it just takes a list of values there. So first we give it the x value, so 240, then the mean, 260, the standard deviation, 16, and the word true. So that it knows, yes, we want the cumulative value up to 240. And that equals, well, the 10.56, the same thing we saw up above. Now our answer is really the difference of these two things. So we're just going to subtract here. So we say equals, and now we can actually just point to the cells. So I'm just going to click on the number I want, and notice Excel automatically puts A4 in the cell designation there, and then minus well, that value right there, A5. And then we just hit enter, and it'll tell us what it is. So 0.8275. So we're talking 82.75% of pregnancies are somewhere between 240 and 284 days. So what, four out of five, roughly. Okay. Now, we could also do this problem by standardizing. So this is how it's done in the text. Again, this is just an alternate solution method. In effect, Excel does the standardizing internally when you call norm dist. But let's just go ahead and quickly standardize, because in some cases it actually is handy to standardize, so it's a good idea to see how this is done. So remember the inequality we're interested in here is 240 less than x less than 284. So we're going to standardize. Remember what we do is we subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation. We're going to do that in all three of these entries here. So we got 240 minus the mean, 260, divided by the standard deviation, 16. It's less than x minus 260, divided by 16. Remember, that's going to be standard normal, so that's going to get replaced by z. And then we got 284 minus 260, divided by 16. If we simplify these things, well this one we've done, this is minus 20 divided by 16, so this is minus 1.25, less than, remember now this is z, standard normal, and this is less than, well it's 24 divided by 16, that's 1.5. Okay, so uh, the area we're going to be interested in now is, we're standard normal, so this is now z centered at 0, and we want the area between minus 1.25 and 1.5. 5's getting a little sloppy there. So this area right here 
will also be equal to the proportion of pregnancies that are between 240 and 284 days. So all we've done is convert from a normal distribution with mean 260, standard deviation 16, to standard normal, mean zero, standard deviation one. And again, the purpose of this historically, at least in lots of cases, is that the only thing that was available were tables for the standard normal distribution. So you convert to standard normal, then use the tables to evaluate the probabilities. As we've seen up above, Excel will do that part for us automatically, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, but there are cases where it does make sense to standardize, so we kind of emphasize it from time to time here just so we get used to the idea. Okay, well that area there is really going to be equal to the norm, uh, norms, excuse me, with the S, norms dist of 1.5. Okay, that value there will be everything to the left of 1.5. And then we want to subtract off everything to the left of of uh, minus 1.25, so norms dist of negative 1.25. And I won't work it out, but you can verify for yourself in Excel. If you go evaluate this, you get exactly the same thing as we got above. You'll still get the 0.8275, so I'll let you check that for yourself.